morning, Granny. How are you? Uh, doing great. It was a, a good Super Bowl weekend, right? Who'd you root for? Well, it was tough because my son was really rooting for uh, the 49ers, but I kind of had to root for Kansas City because too many of my friends are Kansas City fans. I had to be able to face them the next day. So, <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. And that's the kind of the same way it went for me. Boy, Patrick Mahomes is something else. He's the Michael yes, Jordan of football for sure. Yeah, he is. Amazing. And it was exciting to see some uh, Con Summer. Uh, horns out there on the halftime show too yes. that was a really good halftime show in my opinion i'm sure there are people out there that would beg to differ but i thought Usher did a great job right as well as all the other guest artists yep. uh, yeah so we're uh we're back at it with coffee talk and um you know we're in the winter months and people are thinking about you know their spring and uh end of semester spring semester and fall or summer and fall plans and um, we've got some exciting things, but I, I know you and I've been talking, we wanted to kind of just continue to encourage people to look at professional development. And, you know, we were kind of discussing honor bands and, and getting past notes and rhythms um, and really trying to discover that next level of music making and how important that is for the music educator. Um, you got anything you want to say about that? Well, you know, I think, um, Randy, we're constantly pushing uh, directors and even ourselves, I think, to attend clinics, attend um, sessions where they can learn. And um, I, I know that uh, I'm probably jumping the gun here a little bit, but when we're talking about getting past notes and really starting to make some music and really getting to the next level, um, I just, I, I think that's something that's tough to get from Zoom. <laughs> You know, and I, I, so I continue to encourage, like we did last time that we were doing coffee talk often, uh, for people to get out and watch other people teach, go to some of these clinics. There are some gl great clinics around the country. I know we're going to talk about uh, our CSI clinics, um, but the best example I can use, I think, is I can talk to the folks at Blue Devils and learn a lot. But when I go out, I'm going out to camp this coming weekend. And when I go out there and actually watch Chip Crotts teach and actually watch Scott Johnson teach and watch all those amazing instructors teach, I just learn literally a thousand things that I take back with me. And so I think there's a lot to be said for being in the moment with these instructors and uh, watching what they do. And so I think, um, I know that you're gonna talk about the Con Summer thing in, in a minute here, which we always do at uh, Bethel College and we have some other ones around the country too, but um, whether it's those or whatever you go to, I just think everyone just needs to maybe break away from what happened during COVID where we started doing everything on Zoom and get back to some live learning. I, I just think that's so important, especially in our profession, you know, where our faces, where our voices, our hands, everything matters, you know, so um, I probably went a little overboard with that, but there you go. No, not at all. I think it's, I think it's really important for us to continue to encourage uh, young educators, experienced educators, educators that are getting ready to retire to, to keep pushing to the end and continue to be, I mean, if you look at the number of people that are out there that are either retired or still teaching, they're all continuing to learn. And that's the that's the most common denominator. You and I are no exception to that. We continue to learn. And, you know, the opportunities that are afforded to us when we get to watch people work with groups or do clinics, uh, I just, I think that's, you know, the way to go. And it's it, it also kind of helps you deal with burnout a little bit too, because you get to see some different perspectives and get to see some different methodologies. Absolutely. And when people talk about burnout, I always, um, you kind of just said what I normally say to people that are talking about burnout, learn something new. And all of a sudden, you're not quite as burnout, because you have more things to share with your students, or with your colleagues when you're on the podium. So um, yeah, just continuing to learn. And I know people have heard us say that forever, Randy. Um, but it, it takes an effort. You know, I mean, we're all busy. 
Uh, we all have families. We all have uh, people that we want to be around. We all want to have vacation time, et cetera. But in the profession we're in, um, we, we have to keep getting better. So I can't encourage folks enough to try to find, even if it's a couple days here or there, to get out to some of these clinics around the country and continue to learn. Yeah. And I, you know, you may agree or disagree with this, but I, I just think it's really important to continue to play your instrument. I mean, it's, yeah, I see a lot of teachers teach with their instrument in class and that's awesome. I see, I also see teachers that haven't played in 20 years and I know you play cause you have, you arrange and write every day. So you're playing the piano every day. I'm practicing every day, trying to get better uh, on the trumpet. I mean, it's in, in playing groups. And I just think it's really, really important that the kids see you playing your instrument in the classroom for them. And so I want to encourage those of you that might be feeling some of that burnout to, to kind of get back to your instrument or rediscover your reignite that passion for why you did it to begin with, because we're all musicians. That's the reason why we started doing this. That's the reason why we teach. So rediscovering that is, is a good thing. And that kind of segues into the Conselmer Institute. You know, we've gone to this regional base, um, system where we're trying to reach out across the country. We've got some events that are going to be happening in New York and down in the Southeast and the Southwest and trying to bring Con Summer Institute at a very affordable price to educators to, to have, give them an opportunity. And um, the, the one at the Midwest is again going to be at Bethel University, uh, June 9, 10, 11. That's a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The Tuesday is that add-on day and uh, really excited. I know you and I have been talking to Blue Devils who is our special partner with Con Summer and, and U.S. Bands, and we're going to be um, adding that third day at the Midwest event on June 11th, and it's it's going to we're going to take that one off campus to Penn High School, which is about 10 minutes away, and they're going to host us. We're going to have um, a student leadership sessions for for students all around the tri-state area with Dr. Tim and Matthew Arau, and then you and I are going to be doing program consultations just talking to people about their programs. If they want to talk about their marching bands, great. If they want to talk about anything else and strategies and how they can get better, we're going to be spending some time with directors doing that. So not only can the attendees that are part of CSI be a part of that event, but also directors in the tri-state area, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, even Ohio, can bring kids for the student leadership workshop. They're, maybe they're student leaders. And then they can watch a very special event that's going to happen throughout the day. We're bringing in the Blue Devils Experience, sponsored by Con Summer and U.S. Bands. We're bringing in Scott Johnson, Chip Kratz, uh, Brian Dinkle, and then we're adding uh, Beth Fabrizio as the woodwind specialist. And they're going to work with kids all day. They're going to do clinics all day. What do you think about that, Richard? Well, I'll tell you what, just, you know, and... There, there's no way that we can get people to understand what it's like to be some, around the people that you just mentioned, Randy, unless they're actually around them. Right. You, you know, you mentioned Beth Fabrizio. And I'm like, I feel like Beth can teach anyone anything. And she will change the way you approach woodwinds. And she's just absolutely amazing. And we all know about the Blue Devil staff. We, we see what they do out on the West Coast every year. But I think we forget that also... You know, people like Chip um, teaches at uh, Georgia Tech University, does all the jazz programs there. He's one of the finest trumpet players in the country. Uh, the, all these people, you know, uh, are just fantastic teachers. And uh, I can't encourage people enough to be around them. Come up, get to know them, um, uh, make contact so that you can someday maybe even invite, your, invite them to work with your kids at your school. Uh, there's just so many great opportunities. And the four names that you just mentioned, it doesn't get much better in the marching activity, Randy. And I think uh, you would agree with me on that. Absolutely. And, and you know, Con Summer's not attempting to make money off these events. They just want to get the information in people's hands. So it's going to be extremely affordable. If you don't go to CSI, but you just want to come to the one-day marching event um, and bring your kids, I, I can't even I, I can't even imagine being able to have gotten this kind of professional development for, for that price. And Beth is going to put some things in the chat for you to be able to go to the website and look at all of those things. And we're going to be releasing the curriculum uh, for the marching arts portion here very, very soon. Really excited about that day, as well as the other two days of professional development at Bethel University in Mishawaka, Indiana. So June 9th through the 11th, please take a look at that. Um, register 
Again, we want to get the information in your hands. We want to help you become uh, better teachers and feel like you're really armed for success going into 2024. Any any closing remarks there, Richard? No, I just um, hope we get to see folks at some of these events. Uh, I know that Randy and I are going to be at some of them, and um, including the the Marching Arts Day, the, the add-on day um, up at Bethel University. And uh, just can't encourage you enough to take a chance and and don't wait. <laughs> Guys, right. sign up now because you know how we are as directors. Guilty as charged. You know, uh, wait till the last second and then all of a sudden think, well, you know, I'm not sure I can do it. I just didn't plan ahead enough. Um, plan ahead on this. It's going to be worth it. So many great people to learn from. Absolutely. Well, thanks for your time today, Richard. And thanks again to Beth Horton for being our engineer behind the scenes. And uh, we look forward to seeing a lot of you at Consumer Institute. 2024, June 9th through the 11th, up in the Mishawaka area. Beth will have that link in the chat for you to be able to, to register and uh, come out this summer and have a great time with the Blue Devils, sponsored by Con Summer and U.S. Bands. Thanks again, Richard. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. You also, Randy. Take care, everyone.